Hey everyone, here is Kathy and in this After Effects tutorial uh, you want to make this eye in the hands and for that you need two blue points and these points are for motion tracking so you can place the eye in the hand and it will stay on this exact position. So let's go to the tutorial. Hey everyone, here is Kat from Cassie Director and in this After Effects tutorial I will show you how you can create the pan eye effect. Okay, let's get started. First what you need is the footage of you with the uh, points. Well, I use the points, it's better to track. Um, you can paint on it or whatever you want. And yeah, so your footage and the second clip is a clip of you and your eye or a picture or whatever you want. I use video footage because it's um, more movement in it. When you use a still image it's not so exciting and looks not really so real. So first what we need to do is to cut out the eye. For that we use the pen tool. So go on the pen tool select your clip and zoom in into your eye on the beginning of the clip and select our rough you see you you make a point then hold on when you go over a second time when you lose it and second time you can drag it back to the point so I think that's good enough then go into your footage and hit mm here on mask feather feathered a bit so maybe 15, maybe change it later, but now let's go and make the tracking. Click on your footage and click on Window Tracker. It will pop up this tracker controller here and click on Track Motion. And click on Position and Rotation. And you can make Scale, because I move to the camera so it will be scaled too. Go for go with your arrow keys to down till you open the hand well I start here put the trigger points over the blue ones so maybe like that and next go and track forward you can click um, click here analyze forward or make it frame by frame I do it frame by frame because um, it's easier to control to, so could be maybe spring off or something so I will be back when it's finished so when you are finished with tracking you get all these points in it then go to layer new null object get it here and click here in the tracker edit target and choose your null one or null object whatever you call it and click OK next go click apply and choose X and Y as um, dimensions click OK it will follow the points and you click shut off the eye next what we need to do is go into the uh, start position well you see my eye clip is um, too short so I will make it a little bit longer so click right click on the layer and click time time stretch and there I will make it a bit longer so type in 50 seconds and click OK and it will have 15 seconds of my eye go to the position where you open your hand and where the tracker starts like we could use it here yeah so shut on the eye what I will do is well it's the right uh, so it's the wrong direction so click on click on layer and then go to transform and flip horizontal so it looks like it's a uh, right eye <laughs> well on, on, the on your left it's my right eye so next go and position it over it and make it a bit smaller and rotate it like that maybe like that and now we need to make a mask because my fingers are in the way for that we go and set the opacity a bit down from the eyes so click on T on your layer and then on T get the opacity and set it a bit down then go to the mask tool and mask around your fingers 
open the mask and set it to subtract. So, and you can set the feather to, okay, maybe 27, it looks better. Yeah, I know. <laughs> set the opacity of your eye uh, back to 100, so hit T, and 100. Set our keyframe for your second mask's path here, so it will stay, the mask will stay on this position at this keyframe. Next, we need, uh, first I think we need to parent the eye with the null object, so it will follow. Then go one, uh, you go frame by frame to animate the mask of the fingers, like here, and then click on in the mask, so, well, and, well, I do it like, maybe like that. And then go one more down and the fingers will appear, so we don't need the mask anymore. So what, well, and you see here, um, it's not, it looks bad. So we need to rotate it more. Make sure you are over the points, the blue points. Here you can see now, um, the color, color correction on the first two frames are bad, where over my hands, my fingers over the eye. So we need to correct that by, I will duplicate my eye layer. I'll then go to edit and duplicate. And go to your color correction effects and presets and go to color correction and go there to, okay, click on exposure and drag it on your eye and then play around with that. I set the gamma correction a bit down. Next, I will go to curves and click, drag this on and drag it here a bit down and somewhere here a bit like that. Till I get the result of the hand that your first eye clip, so where you make the color correction, ends to the position where your um, eye is perfect to see, like here maybe, edit, split layer, and delete it, and that will uh, start the other eye, but, <coughs> so, and, so let's start like there, with the first eye, now we need to color correct that here, and for that, I will first, I will do exposure and play around with this. I add brightness and contrast and then curves to correct a bit the um, color of the eye. And I will set the opacity down as a saturation down, so 20, minus 20. And that's it. So I'm finished. Go and render it. And if you don't know how to render, then go to composition and click on add to render queue. And here you have your clip one. That is the composition you made. And click on looseless. Here you can set the um, the format, our QuickTime movie, and don't forget to click when you have audio, audio output here. But I don't have it, so... And here you can click on output 2. He will ask you for the name, so I will choose pen, or EV After Effects, like, and then the destination, and say, say, uh, click OK. And then click on Render. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye.